What's up guys, it's Bryce with SDHQ Motorsports in Gilbert, Arizona, and we are back for another SDHQ Built Build Breakdown. Now the Ford Ranger is a great little truck, um, something for somebody who doesn't need something quite the size of a Raptor or a full size, you know, a half ton truck, but still want to be able to get out, do truck stuff, and with a little bit of modification can get you to some really cool places. Now in our truck, we did the Icon Stage 8 suspension system. This suspension system comes with remote reservoir coilovers with compression dampening controls. We opted to have the billet upper control arms in the front. In the rear, you've got compression dampened two, two and a half inch diameter shocks as well, and the RXT leaf pack. That's gonna come in handy when we talk about our SDHQ built chase rack. Now up here, we've got our made in the USA SDHQ built eight pillar mounts. Mounted on top of these, we've got a set of Amber Driving Combo Squadron Pro Lights from Baja Designs. For a little bit more forward facing lighting, we added the Baja Designs fog light kit in the factory location. This is the sport fog light kit for this particular truck. To really amplify that lighting, we also utilized Baja Designs Squadron Sport Grill Kit. That's four Squadron Sports down here, and all of these lights are controlled with our Switch Pros mount in the cab, which we'll get to a little bit later. Up here, you might also notice the ARB recovery points and the ARB skid plate kit. This is gonna add that extra level of protection out here, so when you are wanting to use the truck pretty hard, you know ARB skids have got your back. Now the Ford Ranger isn't necessarily a tough looking truck from the factory, but I think adding a set of 17 inch Icon 6 speeds in black, wrapped in a set of Toyo 285-7017 MTs, really sets this truck apart. Now the back of this truck needed some lighting help too. So to do that, we added our SDHQ built chase light mounts. And on those, we've got some wide cornering Baja Design Squadron Sports in their amber color. We also added the bulletproof diesel third brake light antenna mount. Now the main point of that modification is to be able to add an antenna up there without drilling into your roof or anything like that. You're gonna use the factory holes for your third brake light. This particular model has two Baja Designs rock lights up there as well to be utilized as some more chase lights. Down here you'll see our SDHQ fabricated chase rack. This is gonna give you the option to run just how we have here, two spares and plenty of room in the middle for a Pro Eagle jack, some fuel cans, uh, a small cooler, whatever you might like. Now, if you're looking at this and you're saying, well, I don't want two spares, I just wanna have one and I wanna have more flat surface for mounting whatever it may be. We came out with something just for you. We came out with our spare tire delete kit. Now you purchase this kit, comes in black powder coat, just as you see here. You're able to bolt that on to one of the spare tire locations and effectively make that a flat mounting point. You've got some pre-drilled holes to utilize our billet tie downs if you choose or to use whatever you'd like to secure your cargo. Now let's go inside and check out how we control all these lights with the Switch Pros. So now that we're inside, we'll take a look at our SP9100 mounted in our SDHQ built Ranger OEM interior mount. This is one of our packages where we do offer an underhood module mount for the brain unit of the Switch Pros. We'll link that whole kit below so you're able to purchase that through our website and have everything you need to mount the Switch Pros inside your Ford Ranger. All right, now we've got this truck on the back roads here doing a little bit of ripping through that Arizona desert. And it's amazing what these two and a half inch diameter shocks are capable of. This Ranger is already a pretty small truck. It doesn't have a lot of mass to need to dampen, but these two and a half inch bodies are really what it needs. Now, if we decide that, hey, it's running a little bit too soft, a little bit too firm, with Icon's compression controls, we're able to tighten that up or soften it up based on our preferences. Now, if you were to run this setup on your stock rear leaf springs, you're probably gonna have a lot of sag and that rear end is gonna have a hard time being in control and being dampened properly. Icon came out with their RXT leaf springs and we put those right on this truck immediately. With the weight of that chase rack and two spares, and then when you go ahead and you add a power tank and a jack, it really gets heavy back there. These shocks are gonna need all the help they can get. We did add that additional leaf into the RXT pack to get some additional weight capacity and maintain our lift. Even with all that weight back there, I'm feeling no hoppiness, no out of control at all. This truck is doing exactly what it should in every aspect. And just like that, we're back on the road. And just like you'd think with these Icon Vehicle Dynamic Shocks, this truck is right at home. No bumpiness, no complaints, none of that. We didn't even make any changes to the shocks. We were able to perform excellent off-road and then drive right back to the shop with no issues. 
Now this Ranger does have a little bit of uh, extra special performance stuff on it. We added a Flowmaster exhaust and a five-star custom tune. Along with those two items, we added a Turbo Smart blow-off valve. This truck on the road, it feels pretty quick um, and it makes it a really good time to drive. Now we're gonna wrap it up here on this build. Remember, if you guys are liking these videos, make sure to like them and let us know still what builds you wanna see next. Do you wanna see more tech information? Do you like these build breakdowns? Comment below with that. We appreciate you watching and we'll see you in the next one.